quarantine means spending time with your pets. Of course, they never leave you alone when you're working. Bye. DSPS 285 Banking for Apartment Living, Week 4, Lecture 1 with Mr. Carlston. This is more vocabulary and terms for renting an, uh, an apartment. There's a taco here because this week is Cinco de Mayo, right? So, a few more terms for renting a place. First of all, congratulations, you found a place to live. This will be your crib, your place, and your home. Eventually, you'll have a place and keys to a place that is your home. No one will bother you and you will be the woman or man of the house. You can have your rules and guests at your place, but there are a few things that apartment landlords want you to know. Okay, what is a deposit? Once you find, once you find a place that you want to live, one of the first steps to let the landlord or apartment community know that you are serious about moving in is by putting down what they call a deposit. This is like promising or saying you're going to move in and they and the, the way you prove to others and yourself that you're serious is by putting money down or a deposit down, all right? So for apartment living, a deposit is, is the first installment of a purchase of something or a pledge to do a contract. In this case, you want to show the landlord that you're being serious about renting an apartment. So you put down some money or a deposit. That way, if anyone else is interested in renting the apartment after you, the landlord says, no, someone already put a deposit down on this apartment. A deposit says you want to move in and sign a lease contract. Beware, if you change your mind about giving a deposit, the landlord may not have to give you the money back. So choose your apartment wisely. All right. So example of when a deposit is used. Sophia and Regina went to be roommates and live in their first apartment together. After looking on the internet, they find a nice place in Fullerton by a lake. The rent for a two-bedroom apartment is $3,100. It has a nice kitchen with granite countertops and a washer and dryer inside the apartment. They are so excited about moving into a new place and they decide, they decide to be serious. Landlord states that if Sophia and Regina are serious about renting the apartment, they should put a deposit down because other people are also interested in renting the same place. Sophia and Regina fall in love with the charm of the apartment. The landlord says the deposit to hold the place is $3,100. The girls agree and sign a lease to live in the apartment for one year. All right, so that's an example. They like this place, they love it, they were serious about it. They decided to put a deposit down and say, okay, it's ours. All right. So another thing you need to know about the pet policy. Apartments and landlords are very fickle about pets. They understand that a pet can make a home, but they also make some big messes and can damage the apartment. Apart oh, apartments and landlords have a pet deposit, which is kind of like a security deposit for a pet. So in case your pet decides to damage the floor because he or she leaves a pet stain or puts on the whole wall, a hole in the wall, the pet deposit should cover the cost. In addition to a one-time pet deposit, the landlord can also charge an additional fee for having a pet. This monthly charge is added to your rent. So if your rent is $1,200 and your monthly char pet charge is $100, your monthly cost is going to be $1,300. If you have more than one pet, they can charge you a monthly pet fee for each pet. So here's an example of a pet policy. This is a tough decision. Ricardo found a nice place for him and his dog in Anaheim. The apartment allows pets that are no bigger than 50 pounds, so his chihuahua is under that. The apartment requires a $500 pet fee when he first moves in. Then they will add an additional $50 to his $1,300 rent. So his per month charge will be $1,350 per month. 
without including the cost of his car payment, car and renter's insurance, gas, food, and electricity. He realizes that he must also pay for the internet and cable for the computer and TV. Before he put a $500 deposit down to rent the apartment, Ricardo decides to leave his chihuahua at his parents' house. He knows he can always visit his parents, but he realizes he is saving so much money by leaving his dog at his parents' house. So these are things you have to consider. All right, It's cheaper, probably, if you leave your pet with your parent or somebody else. Now, lease terms. If you sign a lease, which is a contract between you and the landlord to live in an apartment for a certain amount of time, choose a yearly option. If you sign a lease to live in an apartment month to month, the landlord can choose to raise the rent every month. So if you live in a place with a month to month lease, the landlord can decide to raise the rent every month. However, if you sign a year lease, you do promise to live in your apartment longer, but your rent is fixed throughout the entire year, meaning the rent will be the same every month if you promise to live in your apartment for at least a year or longer. All right. So that's the difference between choosing a month to month or an annual lease. Okay. Another thing you need to know about is a guest policy. Out of respect to the other people that live in the apartment complex, your apartment community may have a guest policy. Depending upon the security of the apartment, some places require to have your guests check in so they know that he or she is not a stranger or burglar, burglar roaming around. There are also terms on how long your guests can stay at your place. For example, if you have a relative visiting from Mexico, he or she may, he or she may not be allowed to stay in your apartment for more than one week. If your relative decides to stay in your apartment for more than one week, your landlord can choose to sign a new lease and charge more rent because after one week, your relative cannot be considered someone who is renting the apartment. Be careful and make sure you read the entire lease before signing it. If you do not understand, uh, extend it, um, ask someone who can help you. All right. These are tough decisions. So this is just the beginning of when it comes to renting an apartment uh, for what to look for when renting an apartment. We have not talked about parking, renter's insurance, or how you make your rent payment. There are so many other things to, uh, too, such as late rent policy. Okay, what if you're late paying your rent? What will happen? Do they have a fee? Do they evict or kick you out if you're more than five days late if you do not pay your rent? These are all things you need to know before you move out. Protect yourself and your roommate. Now, just because you're independent does not mean that everything will explode like it does in this movie. All right, so really quick about homework. For this week for lecture one, log on to Canvas, and after you identify where you want to live, answer the questions about pet policy, lease terms, and other things. There are no right or wrong answers because every apartment community is different. If you cannot get your answers from the apartment uh, community website, there is nothing wrong with calling the place during office hours. People who work at these apartment places want to rent all the apartments and will do everything they can to make sure you are happy you're in your apartment. All right, so I'm going to show you really quick. Really quick here, hang on. So, really quick, let me show you. Here is the apartment complex. Now that you find a place, this is in assignments for DSPS 285. Assignments, now that you have found a place to live, let's see what this place is all about. Okay, this is where the lecture will be. And then the quiz, how much is the application fee? All right? Do they charge you to fill out an application to live at the place? All right? How much is the rent per month? Question three, how much is the deposit? Four, if you sign a lease, how long do you plan on living in the apartment? A year, six months. Remember, if you live six months, 
they can either change the rent every month or just give you a flat rate for six months. All right. What is the pet policy? What is the guest policy? All right. Are utilities included in the cost of your apartment? Some pay for water, gas, and electricity, or others pay part of it. Maybe just the electricity and gas, but you have to pay for the water. Okay. What furnishings are offered in the apartment? Does the apartment come with a bed, or is this something you have to provide? All right. So obviously, make sure you submit the quiz and leave your name. All right. If you guys have any questions, just give me a call, and I will talk to you soon. All right. <laughs>